They're going absolute left. Okay, they're trusting in the very system that was set up to oppress them and destroy them. And 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 every lick of proof is out there that this system is against the Israelites. Yet you're going to lean on them at the time that <laughs> they're telling you you got to do this, you got to do that. You're going to trust them. He, yet he also uh, is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words and evil is coming but will arise against the house of evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity and this is the house of evil doings man this is why you can have mass pedophile rings okay uh, 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 going on amongst the let's just deal with the catholic church alone the catholic church alone is responsible for all manner of sex scandals okay it is the the poster child of of child pedophilia right i'm talking about both nun and priest are, are freaking off with the children all over the world yet the hebrew israelites are being questioned <laughs> that that is evil man the fact that the 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 the, the true evil and wickedness people turned a, a, bl a blind eye to it because it's the people that's in power. You see? <sighs> evil. This is the house of evildoers, man. Wickedness. Okay? Now, this is the point. Now, the Egyptians are men and not God. Alright? <laughs> and, and who's the modern day Pharaoh? Esau. Now, the Egyptians are men and not God. Okay? And their horses flesh see their horses are flesh all right carnal okay their weaponry and everything that they have on the left hand side there, there there's there's a limit to how far he can go and how he can move and how he can operate and maneuver and manipulate those elements but with the chariots <laughs> there is no limit you see and see like at the time of Elisha he said, basically, when he was getting weak in faith, he said, open his eyes so that he could see, you know, the, 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 the heavens. And he opened his spiritual eye and he saw the chair. He said, oh, my goodness, the chair is the Lord. The chair is a fire. And the, the, basically, the, the, the point was, look, there's more of them. All right. There's more f for us. All right, then for of, of, uh, of them, you see, meaning we have a, a power source and a defense system. OK, that that is more in number and more in power than anything that this Edomite has, man. And that's why the Heavenly Father has been showing those chariots also to let you know that judgment is getting ready to take place because the chariots. OK, uh, just like at the time of uh, the Tower of Babel. OK, it said, let. Come, let us go down and see what the sons of men are doing. Now, who's the us? The us are ultimately the chariots, the angels, the the the, the powers, and they're coming down and they're looking at what's going on in the earth, okay, and reporting things back because everything is done in order, okay. And ultimately, when the said measure that Selene elect, they're doing particular things in the earth. But they're ultimately preparing the end of the particular empire that's in play or whatever the sons of men were doing. And what did the Lord do? He confounded the languages. OK, all the different dialects of Hebrew. OK, and he broke up the Tower of Babel. Well, the Lord is getting ready to confound this this uh, new uh, one world order. OK, this is the, ultimately the old world order. What Nimrod tried to do in a, in a technological different sense man and many are helping to build that tower while we all right are ultimately saying no all right we're gonna trust in our power man all right so the egyptians are men and not god and their horses flesh and not spirit when the lord shall stretch out his hand okay and what is his hand this his hand is your shot man okay his right hand. That's what we're calling him to uh, 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 bring. All right. Let's get this scripture real quick. Psalms 
Psalm 74 and 11. Why, why withdrawest thou thy hand, even thy right hand? Okay? Pluck it out of thy bosom. All right? Pluck your right hand out of <laughs> uh, 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 your bosom. All right? Verse 12. For God is my king, all right, of old, all right, working salvation in the midst of the earth. So the right hand is synonymous with salvation. Okay? Even at the time of Egypt, it was the, the, the angel, okay, that ultimately was responsible for, for getting the victory. I What did they say? The angel will lead you into the land and take down the Hivites and the Perizzites. The angel will be responsible for, for uh, uh, dealing with you in a way where you will prosper and win. It's no different now, man, but we're calling him. We, we want him to bring the, 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 the right hand to the point where it's a hammer. Right now, they're just showing themselves. They're doing particular things. Okay, but look, bring your Hawashai. Bring that that big, gigantic, okay, uh, uh, ship because we, this man is losing his goddamn mind. And the, what we, what we got to do within the store, we have a sacrifice. So we're going to have to rebel. We're going to have to say, no, we're going to have to trust in the Lord. We're going to have to separate holy from Egypt. The Israelites... Okay, in ancient Egypt, at that time, they had to fully separate from that place. You see what I'm saying? For the Lord to deal with them, there was a great leap of faith, all right, that they had to take in order to get those miracles. Okay, they had to really fully detach and trust. And it was still a problem with them to detach even after they saw the miracles, man. So we're getting ready to be tempted in those ways in this time, but we got to separate. Now... Okay, where was I at? Isaiah 31. Isaiah 31. Let's read it again. Now the Egyptians are, are men and not God, and their horses flesh and not spirit. All right? When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, all right, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they shall all fall together because they're all going to fight against them. All of these heathen are, are, are uh, investing. It's not just the Edomite that's talking about Space Force. You have a, other, a lot of heathen that are uh, invested in that. Okay, and they're going to be at war with each other when the Lord returns. And the scriptures say that they're going to leave off from the fight that they have with each other and they're going to try and fight the chariots. Or, hey, it's in the scriptures, man. <laughs> Second Edges, the 13th chapter. Read the whole thing. You see? That all of them are going to fall together, man. It says, uh, For thus hath the Lord spoken unto me as, as like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey. When a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice nor abase himself for the for the noise of them. So the Yahweh of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. So the Lord is getting ready to come down and fight for the elect. But how is he going to do that? Through those angels having charge over us, man. Here's the next verse. As birds flying, so will Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, defend Jerusalem. All right? <laughs> Defending, all right, also he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. All right, now, we always show you that this word for passing over, all right, is pash, pashcha, all right, pashach, all right, which is to pass over, to spring over, to skip over, okay, and it's uh, ultimately synonymous with Okay, the Passover. All right, because that same word is used. <laughs> Exodus 12, that same word. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses wherein ye are. All right, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not come upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Now, the scriptures say in uh, Sarah, uh was that uh, second edges the 15th chapter that Egypt would be hit with plagues again all right but the, the same word Passover all right uh, 
Pesach, okay, is used in Exodus the 12th chapter, showing you that the second deliverance, okay, as birds flying, all right, will, uh, will be those chariots again, which delivered us out of ancient Egypt. But this time is going to be in an even more glorious fashion because the last time only Moses was able to go up and pretty much get a piece of the glory. And when the scriptures say when he came down from the mount, you see, uh, he was shining. Like his face was shining. And Israel was like, oh my goodness. All right? Because he was supping with the Lord. The Lord pretty much gave him the Torah. Okay? <laughs> and, 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 you know, the understanding and everything, man. The Lord supped with him. But this time, we're all going to be beamed all the way up into that chariot and get new bodies. All of us. The whole tabernacle of David this time. Okay? 